Hey, good afternoon, guys. I'm here. We're going to do a review on the Anvil, A-N-V-I-L, uh, by Panther Arms, or D D P M S. So, right there you can see Anvil. So, we're going to do a quick review over it. So, it has the folding stock there, as you can see. Folds pretty mount. And then it folds directly out. Um, you see I put a little there. That metal, the metal's a little rough on the shoulder, so I put a little, little pad there. I cut that out to where it still catch that piece to keep it folded. So I bought this at Buccaneer Pond in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, we're going to tilt the camera up a little bit. Hold on. We're going to set that there. First, we'll make sure it's clear. Nothing there. Oh, come on. Sorry, I uh, got a notification. But, so I'm gonna adjust the camera here. I don't know why it's so tilty. Okay. So yeah, I bought this at Buccaneer Pond in Sarasota. It was about $820 before tax and background check. Um, what drew me to it was I've been one in AK-47, so this one has wood furniture on it. It's not too long of a barrel, which I like. It's got a threaded barrel. You push, let's see what I can do here. You push down. Oh my. So, obviously, this is the first AK-47 platform I've ever dealt with well the barrel does unthread and then you put a different muzzle brake on there if you want um yeah i've mostly been in that at ar ar platforms five five six two two three so this is my first ak in seven six two uh it's got a good decent one charging handle pretty smooth um selector switch on safe uh, and then, so if you see there, it's got three selector switches. But, unfortunately, it's just semi-auto. But, you know, if you did the paperwork and got the, you know, the SOT tax stamp and stuff, maybe you too, I mean, maybe you could convert this. But that's not the plan. So, you see the railings top there. And it has the universal mount. Uh, so, I'm going to get on Midwest eventually. And buy their universal mount kit that just clamps onto this and put you a rail along the top so I can put a red dot. I'm gonna put a red dot and a magnifier. I'm probably gonna go uh, with Hollison. I like Hollison products. The sling here I bought at Kavanaugh's Outdoor uh, Supply Company. You can look them up online. They're out of New Albany, Indiana. I was up there this past weekend for stuff and um right across the bridge of louisville kentucky and indiana so i found this uh pretty nice sling that was on sale for they told me they give it to me for 10 bucks it was used it was in the used bin but it's you know it's a good ak sling you see the the green color you know just reminds you of uh, Soviet green or you know Vietnam the AK so um, yeah that's that's pretty cool and then I'll just I put some of the same grip tape on the um, handle there it's got the wood I hate sort of hate hiding that wood but I don't know I haven't haven't tried trying to I sort of tried it out and the wood's so slick it's hard to get a firm purchase the handle. Um, no, I definitely plan on learning more about AKs. I've never actually even taken this apart. I've just got it. Um, I have uh, shared it in a Facebook gun group I'm part of. And they asked, you know, because I had, you know, this uh, Mo 20 rounder magazine. So, you know. Unlike AR, you gotta rock that in there. Oh, we 
hit the, tea, the camera. But I think the 20 round looks sleeker with the AR, um, the AK, my bad. I think it looks sleeker. Obviously, this is the plastic one. And then I do have a couple metal ones as well. I have some more. But this is 30 rounder. Let's see. So, I don't know about you. But the 30 rounder to me, you know, it's more traditional. But I don't think it looks as sleek. I think the, the 20 rounder looks better. Um, really, it doesn't matter. 10 rounds isn't too much to worry about, so I like the 20 rounds better. But, yeah, so this is, I've been looking at, you know, a Sentry Arms, you know, get an AK, but I didn't want a Sentry Arms because every Sentry Arms AK that I held, I couldn't see down the sight. But with this one, I'm even behind the stock, you're able to see down the sides pretty good. Um, with the Sentry ones, the stocks in theirs didn't really allow you to get up behind the sides. So you're still a little too high with the Sentry ones. So this one, uh, DPMS, has done really good. So the plan is, the only plan that other than what I've already put on, just a, a good sling and some tape, is I'm gonna get a, the adapter rail from Midwest, and then I'm going to put um, an optic and a magnifier on it. And I might put um, M108 or something. I'm trying to remember the exact number for it, but a different muzzle brake here as well for 762. But that is my foldable 762 by 39 AK platform. Probably the only one I'll ever have just because. I'm a poor, so can't, you know, spend too much money. But uh, hopefully I can make a range video sometime with it. I've never actually shot it. So hopefully I'm able to go to the range sometime soon and shoot this puppy. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll like it better than my AR, which I'll do a review on it. Now, I used to have several... I'm down to, you know, I chose to get rid of all the, the poor man stuff and get one decent one. So we'll, we'll not have to do an AK versus AR uh, video. So that is my Anvil AK-47 by DPMS Panther Arms.